Hi guys, so I got a set of keychains, a partial, a full, and another full, so I already got the exact same one in the partial, because I liked it, because I'm crazy, because I liked it. <laughs> crazy whatever whatever floats your boat right so we'll start with the keychain so I don't know I think I might make these guys in the bag at least a couple of them in the magnets so I jumped on the keychains back when I started it's like the first gift I made enjoy them they're fun it's nice in between they're nice things to put like with a gift with a gift card um they're cute they're funny so i love sunflowers so i decided to get the sunflower gnome so every gnome is different actually he's the only one that doesn't have a flower Holding a little flower. This one has flowers in its hats. This one has a flower in its one flower in its hats. So yeah, I thought these were cute. A little pack of six. These six colors. Kind of like cake. I got like a brown, an orange, a gray, a black, a white, a clear, a white. Um, orange yellow, another white orange, and then a sunflower yellow. So, and they come in a little keychain doohickey. Um, and then they also come in their basic bare bones wax. Well, green boat, pink pen, two things of wax, but it doesn't matter. I don't use that wax. And if you ever wondered what you can do with some of your extra stuff, um, your local school or like a place that has like maybe like an after school or something, you can always donate your extra stuff. Like I donate my grippies to my son's school. And the green trays, because the art class will use the green trays. And then the grippies they can hand out to the kids who need um, extra pencil grips. So that's what I do with those. So let's do, since we're with the sunflower theme. Instead of partial gnome, that was a different one. So this one is a sunflower, and I literally just did one. Hold on, let me go. I just did a review, so I have my collection is now complete. So I got the keychains. And I have the partial special gnome draw. And I have this one, which I just finished and just did a review on. So I have a, my collection is complete of cute sunflower gnomes. So this one will probably go in my book. The hanging is going to be a present. Well, this one doesn't say be kind on it. It just has a couple of bees. Yeah, the flowers, so it's got the sunflowers, it's got the gnome. And it's just got some flowers. So we'll be quick and easy. One bear to go. Fun, relaxing, because I get sick of doing the um, 
regular drills, and I like to do the special. And I like to sometimes when I know I'm not going to finish something, <laughs> to have something like this as a finish. Um, same toolkit as the first one, except for this one has those cheap old plastic tweezers, hair bones. Those tweezers are useless. Just to let you know, Diamond Painting Company, these tweezers don't do anything. So, we've got, I'm guessing this is for the sunflowers, a pretty yellow marquee. And then we've got some clear, some red, some orange yellow, some yellow, some brown, some gray. green, some pale yellow, another shade of yellow, some black, some black AB, and if you don't know what that special coating is, it's a special coating that is named after Aurora Borealis, which um, it takes and shines different colors when it's on different drills, it looks, makes them look different colors. Like they're changing, like a chameleon kind of, and then some pretty pink ones, which I'm guessing might be the dots on this hat. So, it's a cute gnome, a fun one, just like, I highly recommend doing these. And tell you what, I have the most fun doing these, and either putting them in my own portfolio, just to have them, just to be fun, or doing them as gifts and they turn out being like really fun gifts especially if you do a subject that you know somebody's really gonna like so we'll go with the theme of gnome well i'll show you this one and then i'll get out the one that already there Ta-da! so he has a full he has a full drill his guitar, and his cute hat, and the peace sign, his tie-dye guitar and tie-dyed hat. Same bare bones toolkit, except for this one comes with a three placer. So he is a full girl. Some flowers in the background. Has 24 colors. Oh, I didn't do the other one, but I'm sure it's nice and sticky. Nice and sticky. This is a nice clear, easy to read. Has just alphabet. And it's got, if you've never done one before, so this number one through 24 is just the numbers. Of the drills in a row and then the one in the middle is a symbol for that color and then this is the dmc number for that so if you keep them put more regular drills whether it be round regular drills or square regular drills all have a dmc number if that company uses a dmc number some companies some of the cheaper budget companies don't use it um some of the other companies like Diamond Art Club has their own code for ABs. So AB through Diamond Art Club won't be that exact AB you might get in a different kit because they actually label them. They use all the DMCs and then they use their own number for their DMCs. And then if you buy Diamond Dots, Diamond Dots has their own coding and they also have ABs and they all have their own numbers. But for the rest of it, everything else is universal. Like if you get a 307 in this kit, and then I get a 307 in this kit, it should be very close to the color. So there's DMCs along there, and then there's DMCs on the packaging when you are kitting it up. So I'm not going to say the numbers. I don't know. Sometimes I find it. We'll go back with it. Pinks. That purplish pink. Pink or purple. And this white pink. A little grayish blue. 
green, light green, green, dark blue, brown, blue, 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 green, peach, a green, a yellow, a green, a pink. Blue, another gray, another purple, another gray, and kind of it, I got yellow. So, 24, not bad. I and mean, then 24 is very reasonable for a 30 by 40. 24 is easy to pick up. Um, what I like to do is take my drills and I'll take. I separate them and I'll put on the post-it what that canvas is and then I put my drills in baggies together so I'll put this one in a baggie that will say you know, whatever group's going to be in that baggie because I'll put a bunch together in like those reusable zipper baggie things. Got one of my. So I'm just going to separate all the drills and flatten all the canvases. And I'm starting to get a collection for gnomes. I might put a little post it and say gnomes. And I'll put what canvas this is so I can find it quicker than matching the numbers. And then I'll put them all together. And they'll be all together. And then when I want to do a gnome, I can say, hey, these are the ones I got. Let's see which one I want to do. I want to do the partial. Do I want to do the full? And I've already done the full with the tie dye. Or do I want to do, you know, whatever gnome, other gnomes I got? I only have one other gnome. So that would be a small, but that would be the way I would separate them. So my last one is going to probably go in the full category full and butterfly. And this one's a different one. This one was like five something, so this one was very, very good price. So, so you're gonna do one or two things or both. So put them flat. Gently fill up the plastic because it is hard glue. And then I put my arm behind it and nicely fold it back down. And then you can do the same thing for the other side. It needs to go back to plastic without ripping it. You can put your arm right there and gently drag it back down. I hope it release it from being wrapped around the drills and crumpled and helps it lay back down. Cord glue usually lays back down. No problem. That's just there's not too much going on in the back there. There you go. So it's just pretty flowers, no offense. There's a ladybug, there's a butterfly, it's not a butterfly, just a really pretty like you have like one of those floral basket things I bet behind that flower. So this one's kit's a little different. There's a squishy, there's the wax, the tray, and then there's two pens. And one of them has a multi placer, the old kind, the fat ones. So that's a nine. That might be a nine. Yeah, so there's a, oh, and there's some baggies. So this one's a little bit more than your normal kit. You can tell it has a little bit of extras, the cushion in the baggies, and two pens. Some of them had nicer kits, some of them just had basic bare bones. This is what you need to do the diamond painting kit. But after doing them for a while, you might find out you like bigger trays, you like trays with spouts, and you might add after doing a few diamond paintings to your collection tools you like the most. Um, so we've got 29 and it's all numbers and letters. Nice and sticky, nice clear, very easy to read. Those letters are very nice and clear. This is another round. I prefer rounds. I do have one square kit coming that's a 40 by 50 that I ordered from a new company to me. 
from somebody else I watched on TikTok or watched here on YouTube. But I'm going to try out that company and uh, see how they are. So this has got 29 colors. Goes all the way down. There's literally only two symbols. So I like when there's only a few symbols. So that always makes life easy. Um, especially if you're tired and you're going to what does that symbol look like? Like I have all these symbols in my head. Oh, that one looks like a mushroom. That one looks like this. Sometimes the symbols are like crazy. So, these also have DMC, so these ones you can match up and keep and put away and save. So we got. What is that? Thirty-eight, sixty-five. Um, white, two blue, two green, two coral, that like um, very light minty green, so weird color. It's a green, but it's white, but it's green, but it's, I don't think it knows what color it wants to be. It's like a white olive, a peach, a bright green, a medium green. Another green, a pink, dark green, a red, a maroon. Oh. I call it blurple. It's not blue, it's not purple. It doesn't know what color it wants to be. Pink, another pink, a white orange, another orange, another orange, a gayo. My four year olds are gayo. I'll be really sad when he doesn't say yellow no more, but pretty yellow for these pretty flowers. Orange, red, a gray, purple, another purple, a gray, and another purple. There's some nice colors. I mean, I enjoy changing up what I'm doing because I enjoy not doing the exact same theme. And not the exact same colors. So where like these are more neutral tones and these two are brighter. And then I might be doing one that has both bright and neutral tones. Or I might do a landscape that has like 50 colors. So it all depends on what you feel like doing. Whether you like doing bright colors, whether you like doing nature colors, whether you like doing, you know, as many blinged up canvases as you can do like I find a lot of times these are great and easy to do and fun and you feel like you accomplish so much more because you get can get so many more of this kind done because it's not the full canvas then when you do these so it's nice to like mix it up and do like a special or a set of keychains or like the hanging one or you know one of the ones you put together and then go back to doing one of these or back to what I'm doing is my big diamond art club. So I alternate what I'm working on because I don't want to work. And there is no shame in having more than one canvas going. Like I have this diamond art club going. And then upstairs I have it Christmas because I thought it was going to do Christmas in July. And then I forgot to submit and take my start picture. So I'm just doing it to get it done. Because it is a Christmas gift on my list that I need to get done. Like I had said this in a few videos. Um, beginning of the year I decided I was going to change things up. And not try to do as many Christmas gifts as I could at the end of the year. So I am going to do something for me. And then do a Christmas gift. Like this obviously would be for me. Because I want to do a comparison. And then this is probably... Something I could definitely gift or keep. And this one is definitely one I could gift. So I'm doing ones I could gift or just keep. And then I'm also doing ones, like some Christmas ones that I'm going to gift for sure. So I do want to show you. I just my book out. So this is how I've showed you the few times. How I store all the ones I've done. Like these are gifts I've done 
And then I just have to figure out how I'm going to frame when it comes across this time. So. Oh, there he is. The very last one. So. The comparison. Oh, this is the partial. And it's different because we're not... So the background, obviously, it's not the exact same painting. I mean, the flowers are the same, the hat's the same, most of the gnomes the same, the hand, the guitar is the same, it's like his feet in the mud. So there's not a lot of differences. The difference is this is a partial, this is whole. So I'm probably going to keep them both because they're just fun ones to do for myself so I want to see what they look like I think that would be fun to have a comparison because I've never actually done a comparison like the same exact picture oh. I do have a diamond painting I've done and then a diamond painting that I haven't done yet that one's a full regular drill that I did and then it's exact same one I have is a full crystal that's a lot bigger that I want to see how much detail is in the full crystal and what it compares looks like to the full 30 by 40 round I did. So I thought it'd be fun to have that comparison because I really did love it and it's got tie-dye and I love tie-dye and I wanted to have fun with um, doing one just for my pleasure so yeah so here's that that's all i got a few cute little gnomes i mean how cute are these guys these guys are so stinking cute just fun i mean i know i jumped on the gnome wagon late but i do you know think these are fun to do because it's just it's something that you know they can throw so many different themes at so I love tie-dye I love sunflowers so there you go so that's what I got if anybody has any questions or to see anything finished has any questions about things I've already done places I order tools that I like a lot tools that I would highly if you recommend please uh leave a comment leave a thumbs up hit that follow see what other things i do i have a hodgepodge i order for, a lot from amazon i enjoy these these kind of things from amazon but i also order from diamond art club i order from dp clubs i order from fan sales i order from gbfke i ordered from uh crazy creative i've ordered from places like Michael's and Joann's. I also buy Diamond Dots. So I do a variety. I prefer rounds and then crystals and then squares. But I do them all. And that's all I got. So any questions, leave them down below. And remember, Diamond Dots are fun to enjoy, to do things that are, make you feel creative, things that make you happy, things that make you smile, things that just give you a time to relax and enjoy the art that Diamond Painting is. So, bye guys!